Hello everybody and welcome to my latest video diary. I've had the privilege today of spending uh, some time with our fantastic library team, uh, all five of our amazing colleagues who are the most friendly, the most helpful um, and the most uh, supportive colleagues that you'll find in the organisation. They can literally find you any information about anything, anywhere for any of your studies or just for personal interest. So uh, please pop into the fantastic library space in the Learning and Education Centre uh, and you'll now hear a little bit of conversation with that I had uh, earlier today uh, with, uh, with Becca, our library manager, and with Emma, our site librarian. So I'm here with um, all of our amazing library team today, and uh, welcome to Becca, our library manager. So I've just got a few questions for you, Becca. So tell me about the space that the library has. The space that the library has in the Learning and Education Centre is purpose-built and designed for uh, us to deliver evidence-based practice and for us to support our colleagues and our people in delivering evidence-based practice. So uh, fundamentally we are here to provide information, um, medical information, clinical support information and also a space where people can come and spend their time on dedicated study um, doing things like uh, writing case reports or for their portfolios, um, carrying out their stat man training, uh, writing presentations, you know, a whole plethora of things that our people need to do and don't have the space necessarily elsewhere in the building to do. So fantastic, and we've got a whole range of different types of spaces, but also access to all sorts of different information in different ways. So the Digital Knowledge Hub I'm really interested about, so tell me what that is. The Digital Knowledge Hub is connected to trust servers, so we've got PCs where people can come, set up and log on and do their training, go to online meetings and just have a space away from the busy hospital where they can concentrate and, and learn online. So it's a place of learning and the Digital Knowledge Hub facilitates that in the digital sense. We've got access to lots of resources um, that we pay for and at Health, Health Education England and the Trust support. So things that you can't get to that are behind a paywall and you can access all of that here in the library. And I know you can literally get any information about anything in the world, can't you? Yeah, you can test us. Uh, <laughs> you, you can test us. We've got these new bookmarks here you've got in front of you, and um, one of them says, Google can bring you back 100,000 answers. A librarian can bring you back the right one. And that's the point. Uh, so you've got information professionals here. This isn't just a building. It isn't just a library. Uh, the people within it are able to support you. We're able to support you to... Um, find the information that you need quickly to access things that you might not necessarily know how to access on your own um, and to do this quickly so we save you time we save you um, in learning that skill set yourselves uh, and we can also train you if you want to learn how to access these databases and you want to know how to get the best information uh, the best kind of evidence we can show you how to do that Fantastic. And the library is not just a space for people who are in formal training programmes or on formal courses, it's a space for everybody? Yes, yes. So in the Digital Knowledge Hub itself as well, we've got a seating area. The point of that is that we want to promote creative collaborations. We want, we want people to talk uh, and spark those ideas off of each other because a library isn't just a place where, as you say, you, you have dedicated, concentrated study. It's also a place where the best seeds that are sown come from conversations with each other. Uh, so we have both of those things in the library environment, a quiet, dedicated space and a space where you can bounce ideas off of each other, um, that kind of serendipitous learning. Fantastic. And regardless of profession, regardless of role, regardless of age, experience? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. We, this library is for all PAH people, everybody. Uh, we have a collection of fiction uh, called our mood boosting books. We've got uh, picture books, family, children's books. So we want to facilitate learning and discussion and yeah, we're just an open environment for every person in this trust. Fantastic. And then briefly talk to me about the team of five people that you have. Yes, so we've got a mixture of professional and paraprofessional staff here. So you've got myself, library manager, I was also trained as a clinical librarian. The idea of that is to bring the library out to the user rather than having the user having to come into the library. Um, we've got our site librarian, Emma, 
Uh, she looks after the operational side of the library. Uh, we've got our resources librarian, Io, who takes care of your resources, books, electronic resources and things like that. And we have our two library assistants who are our front-facing, front-of-house people. They're, they're the, um, the welcoming face of the library that you'll see when you come in. Fantastic. What an amazing team. I think we're going to hear from Emma shortly as well. Thank you. Um, and uh, now I have with me Emma, who is our site librarian. So, uh, Emma, what time is does the library open from until? Uh, the library is always open. If you're a library member, it's uh. open 24-7. Um, people can swipe in with their trust ID. Weekends, evenings, it's all theirs all the time. Fantastic. Um, and you were talking to me a little bit earlier about the feedback that you get. Can you just give me a, an, a, an example of some of the feedback you get from your users? Oh, feedback is the lifeblood of this library. Um, it, it tells us everything we need to know about what's important to people. So for some people, it is the fact that this space is available to them and it's somewhere to revise, it's somewhere to concentrate out of their clinical environment or their family home life. Sometimes it's the value of the training we've given them that's got them through an assignment or got them to the end Fantastic. of their masters. And sometimes it's just the fact we have made the difference to how they've treated a patient. And that's just most special of all because it's, it's someone's passion about what they're doing every day and we've made it easier for them to do that. Oh, fab. And you can tell the passion and the energy that comes out uh, um, from you. So um, what's your proudest moment? I think my proudest moment is seeing someone achieve something that they, they didn't think was possible. Um, and sometimes we don't get that feedback very quickly. Sometimes it's a couple of years later they come back to us and say, Oh, I remember when I was really struggling and there were tears in that session and it all went wrong. Um, I, got, I got through it. I aced my assignment. I went on. I finished my course. Um, and now I'm in my dream job. And that just means everything. Fantastic. And thank you. Thank you for all the support that you give to all of our colleagues. Anything else that you would like to say to promote the library? Um, just that everyone's welcome. Come and see what we've got to offer you. We've got so much. We've got electronic resources, we've got book resources, we've got the space that you can work in. Don't be shy. This is your library. Come and use it. Fantastic. Thank you, Emma. Thank you. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed uh, my conversations with, uh, with Becca and Emma. Um, the, uh, our annual general meeting um, is in a couple of hours time, um, obviously um, this will go out after the AGM. If you are unable to make that and you want to have a look at it, it will have been uh, videoed and recorded and will be up on our YouTube site um, in the middle of the week, so, so please dial into that and have a look. And uh, just a reminder that our uh, public trust board that runs every second month um, is next Thursday, Thursday the 6th of October, um, and uh, please come along to that or dial into that and the public section. Uh, if you wish. Uh, thank you as ever for watching and if you're interested in showcasing your department or your specialty or the amazing work that you do please get in contact with our communications team and we can come and do a video diary as well. Thank you.